Yeah, Jekyll Kine has got himself on the bench and four changes there. In comes Bowers, Villatoro, War and Salazar for Spokane Velocity. Well, their last match was against Charlotte Independent. Six players rested. Easy to tell you who played in that match. It was Smith, Reedy, Hill, Large and Metanier. And just to clarify, when you mean he's on the bench, he's actually on the bench, not yes. just the coach. Yeah. The player <laughs> coach tonight, Dekel Kynan. We'll see if he subs himself into this game if needed. Our referee tonight, Alorm Atisu, will be the man in the middle. This is a great new venue here in Eastern Washington. Used for Spokane Velocity, the Super League team as well that will come in in August and also local high school football. But tonight, it is a soccer field and we are ready to go. There's the whistle. It is LA Force and Spokane Velocity. Spokane in black, LA Force in white here tonight. Two very tightly contested first round matchups for both of these teams and already an early foul going down the youngster, Michael Rojas. Final five minutes before halftime. there from LA Force. Lifted in the middle by Denton. Throws the brakes on. Hackworth. Amadin. Marty Smith. Coming through the gears again. Switch the point of attack for Miller. Denton. Back again. Ross up to the back post. The header's down and saved. Kamarni Smith, first shot on target tonight. It's a good header from Kamarni Smith, who's been their danger man throughout this first half. Whenever there has been danger, gets up so well. Powerful header, but good hands from the goalkeeper. But definitely much, much better from Kamarni Smith and Spokane going forward. Again, Smith wrestling there with Bowers and basically a tackle in the middle and a yellow card. You really have to, you know, you've, got to you've got to get a yellow, get it on the, you know, near the edge of the box when someone's in a dangerous position, but now Morgan Hackworth's got to tread carefully and it's just not an unnecessary situation to put himself in. No shots in this first half for LA Force. The way I don't need to criticize Morgan Hackworth. He's, that is. See all the black shirts back defending as the cross comes in, quickly cleared. Torment. Get the job done there for LA Force. Midway through the minimum of two. Loaded forward. Headed away. Advantage here for LA Force as they play this through the middle. Salazar, Miller, no nonsense defending, putting it out for a throw in. It's a good play from Salazar. You cause enough problems to win the throw in right deep in enemy territory. That's exactly what you want from your striker. He hasn't had much to work with. There's the number nine, 31 years of age, got a lot of experience to bring to this team. Slip this ahead, the cross in the middle. Lodge was there to deal with it. 
And then there's Salazar, first shot of the game. This may be one of the last touches of this first half for the LA Force. Yeah, they've got a little bit of, uh, of skill up front. When they get the opportunity, they can cause some damage and doesn't quite find the corners, but well, just a little reminder to Spokane, there's a long way to go yet. There's the whistle and away we go. 45 more minutes or maybe more tonight from one Spokane Stadium. Here's Amadin against Ballard. Last game, even though it was a loss, it was a 96th minute winner by Luis Alvarez in Charlotte. Just never know. This is long forward for Torman. One back, and then turned right over again. Denton. For Swinkles. Winkles hasn't had much to do. Made one decent save in the first half from a Salazar shot. Just was basically at him. Other than that, he's been pretty much a spectator in this game. Over the top, looking for Luis Hill, and it's saved. That ball checked up perfectly for Hill. But Torment comes up with a big stop. This is the chance they've been waiting for, Spokane, and the, of all the players to fall to, that's the one you wanted to go to. Luis Hill is such a clever player. I thought he could have done more. It's a great run. Gets around the back. Beautiful ball in. Gets a strike, but it's straight at the goalkeeper. Could he have chipped him? I thought a player with that ability might have just hooked it over the top of the keeper. But that's their first breakthrough, and that'll give them confidence, Spokane, that they can do more of that. To the far side, is this maybe a chance for LA? They couldn't get a good touch in the box there. And a throw and will go Spokane's direction. Just five touches in the opposition box for LA tonight. Smith is onto it. Smith on the turn, and it was last touch by LA, out for a corner. Most historic competition. Visit usopencup.com for the full schedule of matches and to watch every game of the 2024 Lamar Hunt US Open Cup. <laughs> Quist, getting the best of Waldeck, just chipping this towards goal, no danger in that. Quist had done so well to get down to the line to get himself some space. Then instead of blasting the ball across, he just chips it meekly and the keeper can come grab. He'd done all the hard work, just needed a final product into the box. Dolling. trying to turn the corner. Reedy's still coming in. Reedy's cross out in front, headed away. The volley is saved. The rebound is in. Spokane scores. Louise Hill. They leave in late, but that could be a winner. Fell to the one player you really felt was going to break this deadlock, Louise Hill. But have a look, ball goes in. It's headed clear. Now it is. That man there who absolutely hammers it, Andre Lewis. But for me, the better side, by some margin, is Spokane. But don't take anything away from LA Force. They defended superbly. They were playing for maybe a breakaway goal and maybe playing for extra time and penalties, and they came very close.
And that is it. Spokane Velocity, they win their first ever home U.S. Open Cup game.